Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another cast by me. Alright, we're going to be diving straight into a ranked all pick. And I'm going to be casting the draft as this shouldn't be the longest game in the world. But I don't know. I like to keep my games under an hour. Uh, as you all know, it's not always possible to find like quality replays in less than an hour, but I'm taking a chance on this one. So... Let's get straight to it. I'm gonna close down my uh, my good old Steam fatty friend here, so uh, we won't get any interruptions by anybody playing other games than Dota. Not even getting interruptions from Dota. Beautiful. Kaiser still waiting to uh, still waiting to connect, and I'm just gonna nope. He's connected now, so I'm not gonna speed it up. All right, let's get to it. Hopefully, there shouldn't be any frame rate drops this time around because my computer is running on high performance this time. I'm on the laptop, by the way. All right, we're gonna be going into the gr into the draft with uh, some a few a few minutes for the uh, for them to discuss uh, their hero picks and their tactics. It's probably not gonna be spent on that, but uh, on a whole lot else, on a whole lot of trash talking maybe. But on the dire, we're gonna be having TM four eight five three thirteen, and we're gonna be having. Uh, I do believe that's a Danish because double A is a letter in our language. So, uh, but it's A Burke, the Marine, and Randy. And we're going to be having Mr. Bean Laden and Bayamon. On the Radiant, we're going to be having Arcross, Ryuk, Meepo, who's picked the Bloodseeker, Kaiser, and Jose Luis. Alright. First couple of picks Sniper, Phantom Assassin, Bloodseeker, and Tusk. Good solid picks. Now their core heroes are in place. Now they should be looking to draft some support. Phoenix could work as a support. I don't know a whole lot about Phoenix, as you guys probably know. Legion Commander also picked up. Not a support hero. Again, they're going carry. So I have a feeling this is going to be like a five-man carry game, and it's going to go be like total mayhem, and it's going to be awesome. So please stick around. Wraith King, you can play him as a support, but it's not. It, it's actually fine if you know what you're doing, but otherwise it's not recommended. And we are going to be seeing, what else are we going to be seeing? Just waiting for the Dyer to pick their hero. They should be looking to go for some for some support so they can actually win it quick, win the early game, and just Spirit get on with it. Spirit Breaker. Again, a strong core hero. He can be played as kind of a uh, kind of a helper with the gank. Draw Ranger. Looks like we're going to be having a five-man carry team, so this is going to be absolutely amazing. Going to be Clash of the Titans. As we are just waiting for the final pick. Coming up from the Dire, it's going to be Bayamon on the Husker, so... It's going to be Game of the Carries, guys. Game of the Carries. As we are slowly moving in. Alright, we're going to be having... TM48... Oh, wait. I got to say this like in one go. TM485,313. And... He's going to be uh, playing the Spirit Breaker. Uh... The... The Marine. The Marine, I'm just going to call him. It's going to be playing the Legion Commander. And uh, we're going to be having the Tusk, Mr. Randy. He's going to be playing him. And we're going to be having Sniper, who's not spawned in the game yet. And Husker, who's going to be picked up by Bamon. And this is probably going to be a mid-sniper. I don't really see uh, Spirit Breaker doing that well with them. Um, Alright, and we're going to be having Phoenix. Uh, going to be picked up by Jose Lue. Meepo, on your Bloodseeker. And Arkarosh? Yeah, Arkarosh. He's gonna be playing your good old Draw Ranger. Ryuk on your Wraith King with that beastly, beastly helmet. And uh, we're gonna be having a Geyser on your Phantom Assassin. So we're still waiting for the sniper to jump into the game so we can actually get started. Introducing the couriers in the meantime. Gonna be having Mythical Boar on your Radiant side. And with a bit of a little bit of lag, there's gonna be no courier for the dire, so the battle begins. This is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be an awesome game as we're already gonna be seeing our first engagement. They're looking to pick off the split seeker. Who he is taking quite a bit of ha quite a bit of damage, and actually he should have let Legion Commander by, they might have been able to catch him. Bloodseeker is very, very slow. It is the thirst that's gonna give him the uh the extra movement speed, which I don't really understand why he didn't get. Seeing the fact that it's so easy to bring like heroes low in the early game. 
on the mid lane, we're going to be having your good old Draw Ranger duking out with the Sniper. Classic, uh, classic low tier lineup. Actually, pretty cool hat. Uh, and on top lane, they're going to be reinitiating under the uh, under the Meepo. <laughs> under the Meepo. Under the Budseeker. That's really going to throw me off this game. As they are not going to be able to pick him up, they don't really have the tools yet. This top lane, I don't feel, to actually do some heavy damage. And now Phantom Assassin might be in trouble here. She does not have evasion yet. These Burning Spears are hurting quite a lot, but she's going to just walk out of there. No follow-up. Of course, no snowball yet, so it's, it's still way too early. Top lane again, initiation. Not going to catch anybody. He does have charge up in not too long. He maybe should have gotten for clarity, seeing the fact that he was B playing this aggressively. And bottom lane, nope, that's just a Phoenix playing aggressive. Middle lane, not a whole lot's happening, uh, except for the fact that the sniper has not gotten a single last hit yet. And he went for shrapnel instead of going for the headshots. Guys, that's not recommended and definitely just not rushing bottle like this. Please go go straight for bottle. Or not don't go straight for bottle. Like either build like three iron branches and a tango. And uh, actually have your uh, have your courage deliver the bottle after when you can actually afford that. Bloodseeker not in the most of trouble there. He's going to make it out. He's going to be just fine and as well as the Race King. Because right now they don't have a courier. So they're probably like fighting team wise to have to get a courier or not. Also Shrapnel. Terrible skill except for towers. Because it doesn't do that much damage. 9 times 12 that is pretty much 120. And you're paying 120 mana for that, so you're paying 1 mana per damage. That's not what you want. It's not really ideal. As no kills have come out yet on either team. Got Wraith King slowly moving back towards his lane. Nice and easy. Sniper, still no cure. Anybody changed the cure yet? Nope, still the boar. Still your mythical boar. And yeah, now, Phantom Assassin, are you? In? Nope, you're not in trouble. Gonna be absolutely freaking fine. Top lane, oh, Wraith King, he wants blood, but he's not going to find it. Bottom lane, still nothing. Huskar is good, dropping low, but of course that magic resistance is going to keep him alive. And Wraith King, you're not in trouble, you're just in a very bad spot right now. The reason why you want to go for like a uh, zero, zero, four, four. And these two don't really matter that much, but you can like stand back and just harass like crazy. I usually go for the uh, just one point into the headshot and just try to max take aim as early as I can, like alternating between the two, just so that I can get that, just so that I have the range to like sit back and just enjoy shooting away. Also, another thing, Red King not that good with crits early and uh, Vampiric Aura. Dueling that with Sniper gives you some very, very neat last hitting, or not last hitting, actually, uh, killing potential. Spirit Breaker is going to be charging in, he's going to connect on the Wraith King, but not going to be enough. He doesn't have boots yet, so he can't even chase. He could get them from the side shop. Don't think it's going to happen. Where is it? He got him from the side shop, sweet. And now bottom lane, no first blood is given out yet. They're playing not very carefully, but neither team are able to get kills. As does the new commanders. Way too low for this. And now Spirit Breaker. He wants blood. Is he going to get a bash? He's not going to get a bash. And we missed first blood bottom. That's actually the Phoenix going down. Top lane. Oh. Second blood. Legion commander going down. And now Bloodseeker. No charge. Not yet. He's going to salve up. Mid lane. Draw Ranger. Just, just chilling. Just chilling. Taking the, getting some good old last hits there. And uh, Sniper is actually caught up. He's actually leading on CS right now. Draw Ranger has been doing a lot of denying, which has really like kept her, kept her, or actually just provided her with an advantage. As nobody or, yeah, they're just sitting back to heal up all of them. Phoenix going for rune. Doesn't seem like nah, she's gonna be going support. Still no courier on the dire. They actually have the courier down there, so the first guy to go back is gonna try to. Uh... Nope, they have a courier. They have a courier, and they also have a courier on the ground, so they bought two couriers. That's the speed demon. Haven't seen this one before. Actually, looks kind of neat. 
Looking forward to see him flying one. And top lane, aren't they looking to rotate? They probably are. Sniper is moving in as uh, Bloodseeker. He doesn't know what's coming. He's going to get damaged a bit. Nope, Sniper just going to go back to his lane. He just went for the rune. They could charge him. He doesn't have the mana though. 10 mana, and that was about 10 more seconds. They should probably have waited until actually attempting that. Sniper just going to rotate back to mid lane. and uh, He's got assassination up and a regen rune bottle. More shrapnel. Does Max take aim? I don't know. I don't know about this build. But then again, nothing really makes sense in Dota. And the good old saying, everything can work, is apparently true in this game. Because he is leading on, almost leading on CS. Draw Ranger does have the same amount, but she's gotten a lot more than nice as this Tusk is really going ham. Does he, he does not have, to, not have to fist yet, but he's going to find the Phoenix anyway. And now, Phantom Assassin. Still no point in evasion, or in blur. So she doesn't have any evasion from any potential ganks. Evasion's for pussy guys. For pussy guys. Remember that. He actually charged not too long ago. Missed it. Bottom is missing. What you doing, my man, sniper? He's got a lot of uh he's got a lot of gold. He could probably finish up his treads. As oh yep, she's gonna go down. This Tusk is on fire, he's on a killing spree, man. He's hard, he's a hard nut to take down. Net worth is going the way of the dire, but we might be want to be looking at experience, which is also going the way of the dire. So um, it's pretty consistent with what's going on in this game. How the graphs are looking, and now leading matter. Yep, more, more overwhelming odds. Sorry, I was about to say moment of courage. That's that one. I really got to figure out these spells. <laughs> And Outro Ranger actually building some very, very decent damage. She does have almost actually more than twice the amount of damage of the sniper. So she could probably go on a go on a man mode, go 1v1. And now Legion, are you in trouble? Nope, it's not gonna be enough. Spirit Breaker, neither. They got the kill, and now Sniper. Moving back, he spent the regen rune. Also bear in mind, Shrapnel is really gonna reduce like your mana pool. You have a very, very low mana pool as Sniper, so... You generally want to be saving uh, saving money for the assassination, so you can just spam that, because that's gonna do so much more damage. Yeah, you see, now he doesn't have mana for assassination, which really could bring this re uh, this Trill Ranger low. She does have 25, so... Take away 25% from this one, and you still get a... Uh, Still get a good, like, in the late 200 damage for one shot. And that's really going to bring her down. That's going to half her health from what she has now, and that's going to actually force out lane as the sniper is actually rotating bottom lane. He's going to find the phoenix. Is he going to go for the assassination? Nope, he's going to save it for later. Uh, don't go off half -cocked. Would have been awesome with the, uh... With the whole shotgun effect. Sniper actually not going to spend his invis rune. He could use it now and try to lure the, uh... Don't need a fight recap. Actually, Legion Commander went down top lane. Spirit Breaker charging in. This is way more interesting. The slow charge is gonna connect. He needs one more. A bash. Yes, he's gonna get it, but you wanna stop running now, man. You wanna stop running. And you wanna fight. Nether. Mm, is Silence gonna come out at the last second? That was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful timing, probably not uh, intended. As he is gonna go down. And Drow Ranger just going ham on the Huskar, and now Waldorf Punch gonna connect, and it's gonna secure the kill for the Tusk, but he's gonna go down as well. Probably not worth it, as that does end his domination streak. Now Sniper, do you want blood, man? He wants blood. He's gonna trigger the Invis Rune, and Sun is popped. He want to get out of that. That blast hurts. DJ Commander, you don't want to be standing there, man. Boom, that's gonna hurt, and that's gonna stun, and that's gonna bring a whole world of hurt down on the Bloodseeker, because the Sniper actually survived that. And now he's going down. Charge is gonna miss. It's actually gonna connect on the creep, but if he's lucky, this uh, Phoenix is just gonna walk right into it. Looks like it. E nope, not gonna walk right into it. Nope, he's gonna get the Nether Strike off, and... Now, Phantom Assassin, doing work. With that... She doesn't have to crit yet, that's why. She might want to be waiting a little bit longer as the uh, Legion Commander is going to come in. Does she want to duel? She wants probably wanted to duel the Phoenix. Nope, she's not going to be allowed to. Phoenix is going to escape. What about the Wraith King, though? 
They do have the charge up in a couple of seconds. It's up now. They could potentially go for it. Go for it, man. Go for it, SB. It's gonna connect, and the Rolls Punch is gonna seal the deal, actually. That's gonna turn onto the uh, Phantom Assassin as the sniper or the Draw Ranger does come in. She's in a lot of trouble. She's gonna get dueled, and Legion Commander is gonna win this. In time. Oh, they could. They missed the Courier. They missed the Boar coming in. And that was a fight going the way of the Dire. Definitely. Definitely good work by the Dire. Oh! Actually, I didn't notice. Double Stout Shield. Guys, this should not stack and that sniper is just gonna finish off she does not have a point in blur so she can't really evade it and i don't think that stacks might just be me but do i don't think double st double stout shield stacks and phoenix is gonna go down by the hand of the uh, spirit breaker definitely breaking her spirit and now sniper is actually gonna be taken out of the tower this is rod's rattles for that's for tower damage because it does a lot of it like 124 towers, actually uh, pretty decent because towers only have 160 health. And now trouble. Rating. Are you gonna? Do you have the stun? She, he does have. He does have ray fire blast, but he is not gonna commit it. There we go. That's the kill, and that's actually the kill for the sniper, who's now gonna get picked off by absolutely everything. Bloodseeker. He is. He does not have it. He just doesn't have it in him. And now Drove Ranger is actually. Uh, Getting engaged here by the spirit breaker. Getting get engaged upon. That's the right. That's the right term. As sniper is uh, looking to pursue, but he's probably doesn't want. Nope. He's backing off. As soon as he saw that draw, he's going Deso just right off the bat, which is fine. You might want to finish uh, treads first, but it's going to give you one hell of a lot of damage on sniper. Oh, Wraith King, you're in trouble, my man. Assassination is going to seal the fate, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it for the sniper whose domination streak just ended. Definitely not worth it. Maybe should have stayed out of it. As well as the Spirit Breaker is going to get chased now. Frost Arrow does connect. Second Frost Arrow. Yep, that's a dead Spirit Breaker. Once that change starts to get going, it's, uh, it's, it's, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Actually, buyback from the Spirit Breaker. I'm not sure what that was for. He's just going to walk out of there. Wander out of there. And charging. Who's he charging? Charging the Phoenix. Without any backup except for the Tusk, he's going to be forced to go into an engagement, but he's not in position for it. He does not have... he has Ice Shards, he has enough for the full combo, but Spirit Breaker just going to charge in alone. I'm probably going to get killed here. As he may not even find the kill in the Phoenix, nope. Not going to. Now Snowball is going to come in, connect on one. Connect on two, actually. Husker coming in for, there for the last second. But he's going to get stunned. In trouble. And that's a dead Husker. Nope. That magic resistance is really gonna help him out. That's pretty good charging in. Defensive charge, actually. And there we go. That's a dead Phantom Assassin. The gold is gonna get split, and now Tusk is in a lot of trouble. If the Drow had more mana. Oh! Charge in from the Spirit Breaker. Is he gonna make it out of there? He is going to. He's got way more movement speed, so he's gonna be fine. As the Dire actually winning this engagement. Quite convincingly, not nah, actually, not really. Just uh, say it's more, more matter of luck in this case that they actually won it. But it was a good engagement overall. And Phantom Assassin might want to be going a couple of points in the blur because he just keeps getting picked off. She's got she's died five times in the early game, so that's not good. It's definitely not good. Now Legion, are you in trouble now? She's in trouble. She's gonna go down. She's just gonna TP in and die. She does have the recipe for the Crystallis, but she might want to be getting uh, the Bardsword first. Phoenix. Taking away that Creep Wave. That is a lot of mana to spend, though. It does drain quite a lot of mana. Or not mana. H HP, actually. I think? Yeah, should be. Oh, Sniper. You're in your troublesome. Bloodseeker is there, but he's more interested in the creep. Now he's gonna go, and now he's, the blood rite's gonna come out. Sniper's just gonna stand there and eat it, and he's gonna go down. Bloodseeker just chopping the hell out of him. And nothing, no rotation, no nothing. They probably want to be going for a tower now. Huskar does have his uh, movement mask, so he can keep himself alive in very, very low health situations. Tusk. Orb of Venom sitting on 1k gold, he does finish, uh, he does have drums. 
Legion, working on that Crystalis. Just going straight for crits, I like it. Maybe want to be getting some more like tanky items, maybe a blink dagger or something. But then again, this is not that high tier though. That Spirit Breaker is going to be charging and he's going to find a Phoenix. And he's just going to try to run out of there. Maybe want to be using his Nether Strike. But he's just going to get focused and actually going to get finished off by the blood. Right, Phoenix Sun is going to connect on three. And they're going to find another kill here. As the Bloodseeker is only one to go down so far, Tusk in trouble, he's gonna go down as well. Frozen Sigil, maybe enough to keep the Bloodseeker out of trouble, or not the Bloodseeker, the Huskar out of trouble. But they could push this now. I think Sniper is actually also cocky, seeing the fact that he's gotten red shots now. And you want to be joining this Phantom Assassin, you want to be joining this fight, because this is gonna be some epic shit. Sniper, oh he's, he's gonna get cancelled, he's gonna get denied, and now... Drove Ranger cleaning up. No! Last second, just gonna turn. Alright. That's your choice. Just gonna send the sniper back to base. Last shot did not connect there. Oh, Drove Ranger. How are we looking at network? 6k on the Drove Ranger. He's picking up a broadsword. Not sure what that exactly is for. Maybe for some crits. Let's go straight for the damage and straight into the crits. Now, Rave King, remember your armlet, man. Remember to toggle it. Please. Alright. He's not really doing it, but then again, he doesn't really need to unless he gets initiated on by the Husk or basically anybody else on this team. He does need to get it off before the Legion duels, and she actually has won a duel, which I'm kind of surprised by. Oh, right, that was that one in the early game. And now, Rave King. He's just gonna continue as he farm creeps. He did toggle armlet. But man, you gotta untoggle. There we go, he's down. Rupture is on Spirit Breaker. And now they're gonna be dueling. And Spirit Breaker is gonna go down to the Phoenix. Now Drill Ranger's in trouble. That's slow, really s slowing her down, if you will. And now PA also in a bad spot. She, she can't duke it up with the Huskar, and that's a team wipe for the Dire. Just throwing the uh throwing the advantage that the Radiant had gotten, like, right back into the Dyer's favor. They basically, they could do whatever they wanted, but to do that, like, to go in one at a time, they couldn't afford that. Sniper is sitting on a lot of damage, he might be want to be look, or he might want to go for some crits at one point. Or, one point, at some point. Crits could really be a good alternative. And now, they could push further, they could push this tier, nope, they can't, they've all respawned. Sniper just not going to care about his own survivability. He's got 8 kills. They're looking at kill steps and assists. Either team. Oh, Rupture. You want to stop running, Legion. Ah, that Blood Ride is pretty much going to be the... Yep, that's going to be it. Bloodseeker going to find his, himself a kill. He is going to pretty legit build. He's going Sanch and Yasha. Which I feel is fine. And his uh, skill build is not half that bad either. So kind of think he's following a guide. But then again, so am I, so I'm not going to be the one to judge. Uh, Phoenix is actually going to support Phoenix, so uh, the Radiant do have a support. I actually feel I think like all of these pretty much are following a guide. And now, Tusk, it's going to be too far of a snowball. Nope, it's going to connect, actually. You want a life break, man. Uh, nope. Huskar not there yet. There we go. And that's going to set up the assassination as they're all going to be hit by the Phoenix Sun. And Spirit Breaker. Yep. Gonna do it. Tusk. Trash talking his own team, man. You don't want to be doing that. That's bad karma. Bad karma. Guys, we got to stop trash talking our own teams. Especially in ranked. Trash talking is bad. And they're really wanting to go for this now. They want to go for the. Uh, they want to go for the win. As they almost, as the dire almost actually had the advantage. They just did that thing again where they just walk in one at a time. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be comboing everything, and you want the element of surprise which they had, but didn't really, uh, didn't really utilize it that well. Oh, they're actually pulling creeps to the second tower. But that was actually some different hero. What's the Legion Commander? It does have uh, a bit more dueling damage. And now Spirit Breaker is going to be charging the Phoenix. And actually going to get... Oh! Polar Punch. Randy going to secure himself a kill. And now Spirit Breaker coming in. 
He is gonna get, or Bro Ranger is gonna get dueled, but it's not gonna win it. Winner is the Legion Commander. Now Spirit Breaker in trouble, he's ruptured and he is stunned. And Bloodseeker actually got indicted by the hand of the Sniper. Now Wraithing, he does not have anything. Nope, that's a team wipe. Again, like going in one at a time, just getting picked off, not really working together. But that's generally, that's your good old average pub. Wraith King is gonna pick up the Skull Basher once he gets those 1,500 gold. Uh, how are we looking at gold per minute, guys? We have the Tusk. It's the highest GPM in the game, but that's solely from kills. He has 11 kills, 4 deaths, and 7 assists, which is pretty respectable. Not a whole lot of last hits, but then again, he's been all about the kills. He's actually got the Frost Iron Fist. Similar fit. Nope, that's actually not the Frost Iron. Just looked like my fist. Yep. Now they're just going to be going. Going for the towers. And Radiant are probably going to try to defend. They're all but one walking. Oh, Legion, you're in trouble, my lady. And now Tusk is actually going to snowball into four heroes. And he's. It's gonna get picked off, yep. Get him, that's the kill. That's the tonic, that's really gonna secure yourself a kill. And now, oh, Hoskar. Bloodseeker is interested. Rupture, rupture and he's gone, man. The rupture is not gonna come, it's the blood right. That's actually also gonna be enough. As there was not a whole lot to do for the Huskar. And now, gold per minute just dropped dead. For the uh, for the tusk, he is the third farm most farmed hero in the game. Sniper is actually at position one with the hyperstone. Still brown boots. Might want to be working that into something else at one point. We actually have spirit breaker who's stuck on the cliff here. He's gonna charge out. Where is he charging? It's almost like a lottery. He's actually charging the blood seeker. This is not very good. Does get the nether strike off, but it is a blood seeker. He's just gonna run out of there. He's gonna get assassinated. Not gonna spend his rupture just yet. Gonna save it for a special occasion. And now they're going in. Wraith King does not have his reincarnation, so I don't think they can fight this. Rupture is out on the Legion Commander. Blood Right is also gonna connect on the sniper. They might actually find him as well. And he is Wraith King. Gonna actually secure himself a bit of more gold. That's almost gonna be enough for his skull basher. If they would take the tower, they have the time and the manpower. No, they don't. They had the time and the manpower. That's the Shadow Blade from the Tusk gonna try to find the Wraith King. It is, it should be time, unless uh, Wraith King decided to do some ridiculous stretch witching. And he's just gonna go right back in there, and this is trouble. Snowball, gonna connect on two, and Polar Punch. Ice shards. It's going to prevent him. Oh, nice shadow blade, man. But it is trouble against the lifesteal or against the or. Nope. Randy's going to get his kill. He's going to get the feed. Going to keep himself in the game above the blood seeker. These are mountains and valleys, guys. Mountains and valleys. This game is going back and forth. DJ Commander farming well at this point. Where's he in there? Phoenix. What you got? You got a Yules. Alright. This uh this little break should give me some time to actually talk about uh talk about what's going on as Sniper is actually gonna get a kill on the uh, fan missiles and like what they're building. Sniper is obviously going for Mueller, which is fine. You may want to get a Shadow Blade and turn those uh, brown boots into something else. Uh, I don't really care as long as it's not Triangle or Arcanes. Triangle may actually work, but Arcanes are just a no-go on Sniper. And now, Initiation. Onto the Bloodseeker. Gonna get the Nether Strike off. Nope, not gonna get it. Beautiful Gust. And Drum Ranger gonna go down as a result of it. And now, that's actually not even gonna save him. The Bloodseeker is also out. Down and up for the count. For a good 50 seconds. Now they wanna be pushing down mid lane. This is, uh, this is something else. As uh, Spirit Breaker is just going to sit back and Sniper, the one of their biggest pushers, is... Is he going to attempt Roche? Nope, they're rotating bot lane, guys. No, he's wait. He's waiting for the... Nope, he's just waiting for his uh, players to come. 
and grab Roshan. There's gonna be a fast roast as you just picked up his Mjolnir. The uh, Hammer of Thor. Absolutely amazing item, and this, this was a really fast roast. So I was gonna grab it. So he's gonna be fine for a good little while. Maybe should have put it on the sniper, seeing the fact that he's of higher value at this point. Like his net worth is higher, which means that he is gonna. He's like gonna. If he dies, it's gonna like mean way more for the game than if the uh, Tusk dies. But then again, Tusk is gonna be in the fray and actually take it, tank in all that damage. Might just be good enough in the end as the snowball is out. Oh, they're gonna commit a lot of things to this Rave King Illusion. Beautiful play. Tusk in a bit of trouble. He's gonna pop his Shadow Blade and get out of there. And they're just looking to back off. Probably a wise choice. Bloodseeker really wants to engage. Sniper, you don't wanna start. You don't wanna walk not into the Blood Ray. And they wanna re engage. Sniper, you're in a bad spot, man. He's gonna go down. Phantom Assassin. No, but that's the Phoenix finding a kill. And the sun is gonna connect. Tusk also gonna go down. That is just gonna get popped. And now, Drow Ranger, you wanna go ham. If you wanna go ham, now's the time. He wants the Legion Commander, and he's just gonna walk backwards. And now Tusk is uh, gonna get Shadow Bladed out of there. Now they could definitely go for something. Oh, Wraith King, he actually found the Spirit Breaker. He has Hellfire Blast up in a couple of seconds, but the hasted aura, this might be. Yes, he's gonna get him, but it's only gonna pop the reincarnation, so he's gonna go down, Bloodseeker. Actually, that's the Drill Ranger gonna be finding the kill. As they might actually want to end this. Very, very soon. So they are currently in a good lead. The Dyer did leave for a little bit there. With a couple of good team fights. They might want to try to end now. It could be. They are gonna try to end, but just barely. They got. They don't have anything on the high ground. Sniper finally gonna turn those uh, power trips on. Does have him on intel? Nope. Gonna switch him to agility. Wise choice. Now they might want to be looking to back off as Hoskar. It's gonna life break the blood seeker and assassination is gonna seal the deal. Now they want to turn. Beautiful gust. Phoenix, your heroes are not that way. And blood seeker. Nope. Alright, why did I say Bloodseeker Phoenix? And now, oh, beautiful, beautiful initiation with the duel, just keeping the uh, keeping the Phantom Assassin in the fight, preventing her from getting out, and uh, Life Break really gonna help out as well. Now, Red King's charge. He could easily solo this uh, Spirit Breaker. He doesn't have a whole lot to get from. He does have the Nether Blast now, but now the entire team is gonna be there backing him up. Nether Blast in the snowball. Boom! There goes the dynamite, and that's a kill. And here we go. This could be huge, but they're just gonna uh, proceed farming or continue farming. Wraith King, you're gone, they're not there to defend. Finally, Blink Dagger on the Legion Commander, really gonna set up those duels absolutely beautifully. And now, what is, not a whole lot's happening. The Wraith King is down, so they can't really fight. And there's just a lone Drill Ranger sitting out there, just very, very exposed. Sniper is, of course, the highest level, at level 18. He's just doing his own thing, farming his own lane. You did actually find the right one, it's not your imagination. That is the Mythical Bower. And Basher. On the Wraith King. He's gonna be hurting quite a lot now. Still Bowers. Gold for me. And gonna continue to the bottom lane. This sniper is waiting. He's just gonna do it to tower or damage to the tower. Also, guys, this is a fine strat. Just do damage to the tower. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, not really doing that much damage to the arrow, especially when you got this much damage. Defensive Yules is gonna come out, and that's just gonna set the sniper up. And that's gonna be it. Yep, that's double kill. Phoenix actually gonna come in and try to save the Wraith King. But that's not gonna be enough. And now Tusk. Tuskar, the Tusky Tusky. It's gonna be right back in the game. He is sitting on second ice net worth. As the Drow Ranger is not gonna be able to finish her off. 
Nope, and they're actually gonna find the Spirit Breaker. Spirit Breaker is gonna, or actually throw right here, it's gonna find the Legion Commander, gonna put her right back. Second on the net worth. Again, Sniper just deciding not to care about the blood right. Just, I'm a man. Sniper is a man. Not a midget. And Blood Seeker gonna get easy, easy kill, easy kill. They could go for the tower. The only person left is the Draw Ranger, and if they can lock her down somehow, life break is off cooldown. The sniper that could be an easy kill for the sniper. Bear in mind, he cannot get life steal with the Desolator unless he m gets a Vladimir's offering. That should not stack, if I'm not mistaken. And now they're going, but it's too late. The Wraith King's back. This man can do some serious damage if they, uh, if, they if you give him the tools. And they're just gonna back off. Sniper looking very farmed. Gonna work, gonna work on that desolator or not the desolator daedalus. That's really gonna actually help him out in uh, all. He found a bottle, or he found a double damage from it, he's bottled it, so... That's gonna be coming out at a crucial time. Maybe actually now, he's not too far away, he can still actually... Re-engage if he so desires. Oh, drawing, you're gonna miss the gust. Spirit Breaker not able to charge away, is he? Yep. Nope, he's actually just gonna charge to the Draw Ranger. And another blast, and it's not gonna be enough. Walrus Punch. Meg is gonna keep the Draw Ranger alive. This Mr. Landy on the Tusk is now in big, big trouble. Oscar might actually be in a bit of problems himself. Now, double damage sniper. What can he do a damage? He can do a lot. You guys want to be hitting the sun. Hit the sun. It's not going to be fast enough. Because he's going to get bashed by the Wraith King. And this could be GG. This could definitely be GG if they can find the kill. Wraith Fire Blast is going to make it official. And there we go. That's a team wipe. Now, guys. It's called, it's called Rex. And it's called Fast. You guys really want to utilize this. As the Dyer did just completely steamroll on net worth. What about experience? Same story. Now it's going back in the favor of the Radiant once again. And they just want to utilize this. They want to really use this to their advantage. The Spirit Breaker is up. Reckon he could be charging just like Headless into this. As long as no other heroes are up, but they don't want to push. Except for the Bloodseeker, he's going to get initiated on. Actually, the charge is going to be cancelled. And now, Phantom Assassin, are you going to go ham? Bloodseeker is actually going to make it out. Not going to go ham just yet. They're wasting precious time farming jungles. Instead of pushing. They could have maybe taken a uh, pair of wrecks by now. As this Phoenix is actually, f uh, yeah, she's just going straight support Phoenix. She hasn't gotten any big items, though. She is sit sitting on a hundred plus uh, or a thousand plus gold, almost through the K gold. Tusk building that heart, gonna make him really tanky. Gonna be able to uh, utilize the Roshan, which they are inevitably looking to take at one point. Oscar with the burning spears. Not care about the damage to himself. It's fine if. You probably should not use Burning Spears against Creeps. Because there are a lot of them, and they have a lot of health. And it's it's going to hurt you more than it hurts them in the end. Nope. Roach not up yet. Double damage. Husker does have PKB. So he should be somewhat fine in... Uh, no, he's actually not going to be, because a lot of the damage is coming from Light Kicks. You might actually want it to go something else. Maybe an AC. Even for a Husker, that's actually fine. Because that's going to provide your armor. Your physical damage resistance. and Because uh, you don't really need magic resistance that badly. When you get low, your Berserker's Blight is pretty much going to absorb all of it. So what you really need is... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's an AC or some kind of armor item. Maybe a Blade Mail. Blade Mail's not half that bad. If they do decide to fight you. Oh! Oscar gonna get initiated on. Nope, that's actually the uh, Spirit Breaker initiating. Let's have the Mask of Madness. Walrus Punch out from the Tusk. He really needs to stay alive this fight. And he's not going to. No. He's not gonna stay. Oh, Shadow Blade in the last second. And now, reinitiation. Under the Rave King. 
as Sniper is going to get picked off by the Drill Ranger and the Phoenix here. Combined effort. Drill Ranger is going to go down as well. Now they're turning their attention towards the Phoenix. Legion Commander, duel. Duel, blink duel. Blink duel. Not going to duel. Now she's going to duel. And I don't think it's going to be lengthy enough. It is. Going to secure yourself another 18 damage. She does have a recipe for a maelstrom sitting in, uh, sitting in this her stash. So she's gonna be, uh, going for a throw hammer after this tusk. Did actually survive the fight and gotta find himself a heart. So he's, he's, he's gonna be tanky and he's gonna be hard to bring down now. Uh, the Legion, I don't think you can solo rush. I don't know, but I don't think so. You might actually just like need the sniper with the tusk. Nope, she definitely can't. Roche is too big and too powerful and too greedy. Yeah, Roche is greedy, guys. Is that a death to the Roshan? Nope, not entirely. You can't do it. You gotta get them snipers in there. Who does have a demon set, so he's almost finished up his Daedalus. Actually, a quick Roshan could almost secure him. Oh! Spirit Breaker, are you in trouble, my friend? I wouldn't charge this Bloodseeker. He could go ham really, really fast. And he is fast. Spirit Breaker, wanna stop running? Bloodseeker gonna go back into the fray. Blood Rite is gonna come out. And now, Wraith King, going ham. It's, it's gonna be enough, and Bloodseeker actually gonna come in for the last hit. Hellfire Blast, gonna get him the kill. Or Ray Fire Blast. Assassination's gonna get the Bloodseeker, gonna get a return kill from the Sniper. Still not worth it, but not as bad as if they had gotten nothing. This Wraith King, holy shit, he's sitting on a lot. He may be going for a Reaver or something. Yeah, yep. Yep, yep. Maelstrom. Is out on your Legion Commander. And Randy. The trash talking tusk. It's just gonna sit in the fire. He's losing a lot of health. Draw Ranger does have the Shadow Blade. Gus gonna, gonna connect on too. And now, oh, issues for the Draw Rangers. It's gonna get dueled and gonna get completely bristled down. That's the uh, that's the Phoenix gone. Wraith King is in trouble. He does have the reincarnation. But he's sitting on 4k gold. If they get him, it's huge. Armlet toggle? Not at this level. Oh! Nope, not gonna be totally fine. Not yet. Snowball is in. It's gonna connect. And the ice shards. That's gonna finish off the, the Wraith King. And that's gonna set him back 500 gold. 500 of hard work and money. As the Bloodseeker is actually gonna DC. Does have a Hyperstone. Alright, that should give him some time to talk about the item builds. DJ Commander. Item progression is not very good. But item choices are okay. Approved. Tusk is doing okay. Not the best of tusks I've seen, but he's doing alright. Huskar. Not with the BKB. I'm not a fan. He does get big and hard to take down, but when you get low, you will have been having a lot of magic resistance. His base magic resistance is also like fine. So, he's gonna be a hit. He, he doesn't really need the BKB that badly. Oh, Legion, you're in trouble. Oh, she could duel. She's not going to, she's actually gonna go down ahead of time. And now, Bloodseeker looking to go ham on this tusk. No help from anybody. He's just gonna go down. And Sniper gonna defensive TP, gonna try to keep the creep waves off. He does have quite a good amount of gold. He, does, he has finished up his Daedalus. So his crits are ginormous. At this point, I wonder what he's going to be getting. He could... Nope, he can't solo rush. Not without lifesteal. He could try. Again, Drill Ranger, not a big fan of BKB. You gotta get more uh, health, healthy items. Oh, double damage rune. He is gonna spend it, and that's gonna bring down the rush so fast. Yep, he just soloed rush. And Wraith King. 
finished up the Abyssal Blade. That's going to give him a lot of damage. So that was what he was planning all along. It's going to give him a huge amount of damage. And also going to provide him with the two second stun, which will not likely be used. But, you know. It's Dota. Sniper is actually doing good work now. He's really picked up his uh, net worth. He's like 5k ahead of any of... No, wait, 6k almost ahead of the uh, second most formed hero on his team. He's like your ultimate carry at this point. And he's not even done yet. I mean, once, once he sells that bottle, he could go for even more damage. Because of it... Could, because he didn't get a Shadow Blade, so he could go for like a Daedalus, another Daedalus or something. Maybe a pair of BOTs would be half that bad eventually. Let's actually just go for a minute. It's in somewhere decent land, so... He's doing okay. Oh! Is this an ambush? It's an ambush! Yes, Wraith King gonna come in and he's gonna... They're gonna go completely hammer the sniper to try to take him out of the fight right away. They, oh, sniper, the crits, the crits! The crits, and Aegis is gonna get popped. And now, sniper's gonna go back and gonna be, gonna go ham. That's another kill. And that's another kill. And he's not gonna be able to take down the Drill Ranger though, but she's gonna go down. So that sniper getting actually one kill and like three assists. Damage done, tremendous by Dire, not so much by the Radiant. Absolutely huge, the Sniper. He did use two bottle charges, and now Husker is actually the only one to be there. Bloodseeker is AFK, so they can just go ham on him. And they're trying to micro him desperately. There we go, the life break is going to seal the deal, and now they want to be going for the towers. Guys, there is nothing to kill you. And Spirit Breakers figured that out. And now Legion. Going for the bottom lane. Who is that just sitting back there? That's the Huskar. He just doesn't care about the tower. He's gonna get a Vlad's. Don't they already have a that have a Vlad's? They actually don't, I thought they did. They don't, they only have the Mask of Madness. Legion Commanders looking to finish up the Rex. Nope. Gonna back out. Had their push has been a lot more efficient, they could have Maybe actually, uh, already gotten it. And now Spirit Breaker. He's not in trouble. He's fine. He does have a Javelin, which does suggest Monkey King Bar. For the Phantom Assassin, that's probably what he's, uh, getting annoyed by. And that's gonna push the Radiant right back in. They do have a big creep wave bottom, which they will be clearing up sometime soon. We're actually all looking on net worth here. Sniper has got an ultimate orb. Scotty doesn't stack with Deso though. Gotta keep that in mind. It's either Deso or Scotty. If I if I have the chance, depending on what type of lineup I'm I'm up against, I'm I'm gonna go Scotty. Just because I love it so much. Great item. I don't build it nearly enough, but it's a good item. Dagon, interesting pickup here. It's actually level 2 Dagon. That's going to take away a good portion of Sniper's health if, they, if that's the guy they want to decide to engage on. Oh, right out their front door. This could be big if Tusk snowballs. Which I think he will be. Regeneration. Oh... Tusk. Do you have the balls, man? Do you have the balls? To roll into four or five heroes. Actually, who's that? Just oh that's Bloodseeker. Just actually getting the rupture off in the Legion. Straining your own health, Phoenix. Stop it. Stop it. Rift King. Oh, he's exposed. And now Sun is gonna come in from the Phoenix. This could stun everybody. Sniper is definitely trying to catch it. Nope. Phoenix. Gonna get the stun off, gonna catch up four. And Wraith King is gonna die, but reincarnation. It's actually not up, he already died once. 
So that's gonna be an absolute oh this is gonna be a disaster for the radiant if they can get oh sniper is actually going down they could turn it they could turn it if they could get the legion commander they may get a chance not gonna get the tusco they're gonna hold off for now actually uh draw ranger just realized the tusk okay he does have a shadow blade up and he has a recipe but they definitely turned that one in their favor and actually, uh, the Dyer were looking at a pretty good spot, like 15k ahead. But that beautiful Phoenix Sun, you really gotta focus that thing down once it pops. Because the stun is just tremendous. Supernova, 100 damage per second while it lasts. That's 600 damage alone. Stun duration is 2.5 seconds. That's the equivalent, pretty much, of a level 2 Ravage. And the uh, Scepter, which she, does, of course, does not have, is somewhat fine but it's still it's still 1k in the middle of a fight and 100 damage per second 600 plus a stun of 2.5 seconds that is huge that hurts a lot and now drill ranger it's actually one of the abilities that scale really well like 1.5 to 2.5 that's actually really nice and the, yeah oh we ain't gonna be seeing an engagement tusk does want the Phantom Assassin, but I don't think he's gonna get him. Now it's charge coming in from the Spirit Breaker. Nether Strike. I don't think it's gonna be enough. Yo, Shadow Blade gonna disjoint. He actually went for the Phantom Assassin. He got the kill. Has he finished it up yet? The uh, Yep, he's finished up the Monkey King Bar. Guys, this is an under underrated item. Get it. Get it in your pubs. 88 damage plus 15 in attack speed. And... It does go through, uh, it does go through blur. It completely, uh, makes the Phantom Assassin's blur irrelevant. So it's just a, an excellent item. And think about it, you're paying, what, about six grand for an Abyssal Blade. Which is a good blade, which is, uh, which does give you a lot of damage. But... The Monkey King Bar is slightly cheaper. It gives you very, very close to the same amount of damage, only off by 12. It gives you extra attack speed and a chance to mini bash. And mini bashes, as far as I know, do cancel channels. And mini bash does 100 extra damage. So it's good value for money. Get it. Go get it. Or if you're watching this in the middle of a game, just go buy it. Go buy it. I don't care if you have the money. Go buy it. It's an amazing item. And Roche is actually up in a uh, five or six seconds. As they are progressing towards the mid lane, they are going to be trying to set up a gank. Maybe they could actually, uh, if they had bothered, they could possibly possibly have smoked it. Gold for me. Yes. Uh. Yep. He's actually going to be working on that Aghanim scepter. Uh, as far as I know, yep. It's going to reduce the cooldown to twenty from sixty to twenty. That's really important. Uh, bash radius is actually a. Uh, it's gonna bash multiple people. So that's good as well if you're like caught up in a very very tight team fight, as these team fights have been. It's been like a lot of heroes in like the same areas. All right, it shouldn't be a whole lot longer before we see an engagement. As far as I, as far as the tension in this game, it's not gonna be a whole lot longer. They are waiting for it. They are waiting for the big push, but it's not going to come just yet. Cypher is going to go for the Scotty. It's going to give him huge stats, but it's not going to really work with the Desolator. I would love if it did, but it just simply doesn't. He's going to go check for Roche, and he's going to find it, and he's going to take it. He's not going to take it. Oh, he doesn't have inventory space. He might want to consider selling his bottle. Oh, he's just gonna try for the damage and try for the creeps and gonna secure himself a bit farm there. Bear in mind he does he is very very close to it. To the eye of Scotty. Yep, they're just trying to clear up creep ramps. Creep ramps. Creep camp's gonna try to secure himself some farm. Actually, uh, Blood Secret's been AFK for quite a while now. He has gotten an abandon as far as I know. Oh, middle lane! Phantom Assassin gonna uh, actually uh, get killed by the Spirit Breaker, and now Spirit Breaker in trouble. Bear in mind that this is not worth it. 
for the Spirit Breaker to do. He does have way bigger, uh, he does have way more net worth, so that was not worth it. See there? Okay, actually, uh, oh, that was from another engagement. 90 to uh, 362. So that's not worth it. If you have a higher net worth than somebody else, it's not worth it. But if you have a lower net worth, it's always worth it. Because you'll be getting more out of it. And you'll be getting the experience as well. And, nope, Legion just gonna back out of there. How are we looking, Mr. Tuscar? You're building a plate mail. This is either gonna be an AC or a Shiva's Guard. I'm a big fan of Shiva's Guard. A lot of frost in this game. Wraith King. Are you gonna be in a bit of trouble here? No. Nope. They're gonna find the, the uh, Drone Ranger instead. Defensive jewels. Coming out, gonna try to keep the Drone Ranger in the game for a bit longer. Sun is gonna come out. They really wanna focus the sun. It's not gonna be there in time as the uh, sniper is gonna find it. Wraith King does still have the reincarnation. They probably should have waited with the duel. And now, Oscar. Nope, that's actually a sniper. We're gonna find the kill. And this could be big. This could be really, really, really big. This is a sniper, and now he's moving down the middle lane. He knows it's up. He knows it's going down now. He has finished the Scotty, but it does not really help him that much. It gives you incredible stats, by the way. Sniper, what the hell are you doing? Are you going for Ancients? He's going for Secret. Secret shop gonna sell the bottle. What is he gonna buy? He's not gonna buy anything just yet. They really wanna be finishing this right now if they're gonna if they wanna win. Sniper is gonna go for the Roche, just saving a spot there for the ages. He does definitely have the damage to deal with Roche. All by himself. Legion Commander. Uh that's a Sanchin Yasha and a Milner. He's trying to build. All at once. Cheese! Cheese. Guys, cheese. Legion, I don't... Uh, you don't have anything to drop. Cheese. Oh, deny the tower. And now Tusk is just sitting there. Waiting for the engagement. There we go. He's just gonna snowball. And boom, Walrus Punch gonna remove half of Bloodseeker's HP. And Rupture is off and this could be GG. Tusk knows what's up. He's gonna go for the Rex. And now... Sniper's gonna push down the bottom lane with two siege units. These guys hurt. Top, top tower, the top lane is actually also pushing itself in. Oh, Phoenix. Could be trouble, nope. You wanna be turning that off, mate. A sniper is just, he's farming towers and heroes at this point. He's also farming Roshans. Are we looking at gold per minute? Experience per minute, definitely, uh, definitely good. Somewhat decent also for the uh, experience per minute, or gold per minute. Now, Sun, it is not going to last long. Oh, it's actually going to last long enough, and that's going to connect on two. That's going to be double stun and the sniper going down. It does have the reincarnation, but I don't think it's going to be enough for round two. He did just get the finished IS Scotty, but it's not going to be enough. He's kind of trying to duke it out with the Drill Ranger. He's actually winning. Not a single crit out from the Drill Ranger. And now he wants the blood of the Wraith King, and he's going to find it. Reincarnation is popped, so they want to be going for this a second time. Sniper, you need it. And that's just going to completely rip the Wraith King apart. He's doing so much damage, this is GG. It's got to be. Sniper is just too farmed, man. They didn't shut him down enough. He's got 7k gold in the bank. He can get whatever he wants. <laughs> Spirit Breaker's judging in the bottom lane. Does get it off. Oh, Nether Strike. Just going to bring her down. GG is the call from the Drow Ranger. As we're finishing up this wonderful game, it was in the cards that Radium were gonna win it in the middle game, in the mid game, and then just Dire just completely took over and won the late game. Bloodseeker is gonna try one desperate attempt to keep them off their middle towers. There we go, Divine Rapier. You don't have the time though, they're gonna finish before you get back. Are they? Nope. But it's the Rapier. Is, are the Rapier throws real? Nope, they're not. This is GG. This is the last towers. And now they're going to be going for, straight for the Ancient. Tusk knows what's up. He's just going to go and going to finish it up. And assassination. Going to seal the fate of the Radiant. That's pretty much been the theme of this game. 
absolutely amazing. Alright. Yep. He had the guts to blindly hate his own team. It takes courage. Three versus... Nope, it's not really three versus. Alright, guys. I'm gonna wrap this up really quickly. I got a tournament somewhere in December. I'm gonna be casting. I'm gonna be linking and everything to that. Once we get that far. That's me, Mr. Prozor, signing off. See ya.